Hey family, it's your girl Tina. Welcome back to the channel. How are all of my creatives doing today? All right, we back for another Resurrection Wednesday, y'all. So I'm excited to show y'all uh, once again what I resurrected and brought from Yes, the grave. <laughs> All right, so I decided that I wanted to make some paper. And um, I'm using my color shafts from Heidi, Primrose, that blush again. And then, you all, I then brought out my Glimmer Mist, baby. Bye. This is what I'm talking about. Y'all remember Glimmer Mist? All right, so let's look at um, what I did. So I took some regular 110-pound um, car stock, and I just began to spray them. And let me show y'all my splatter box. I mean, my pole box. Look at this box, baby. If I could use this box for something, honey, because I, I put a lot of spray <laughs> up in this box, but that's okay. All right, so... What I like about these, a lot of them came out feeling like a faux leather feel. I love the texture that these sprays left these um, sheets of cardstock. So it was just plain cardstock, right? Nothing special. Um, Park Lane car stock and it's like i said it's 110 pound um weight right okay so let's start off and let me show y'all what i use again i'm working with this color pink ah <sighs> this pink I, I just don't know but i have it in my stash y'all and i do realize where i got the pink glimmer mist because in my scrapbooking days when i was heavy into scrapbooking i started exploring and watching um people do layouts that they will use a lot of glimmer mist on and so whatever they use i purchased and i bought right until i learned better and now I could look at your technique, I could look at what you use, but I'm able to um, come into my own colors and my own likeness, if that makes sense. All right, so first up, we have this little baby right here. And can you all see the texture that, that it gave? Oh my goodness. Now, let me tell you, this is Primrose. And look at the shimmer at the bottom. Right? Now, when I look at this, it does not give me the pink illusion. I don't know. But, yeah, this is what I use. And on this set of, of papers, I use nothing else. I just sprayed this. That's it. And then I let it dry. And I really love the effects. You can see the splat. It looks like I got splatters on there. Those are not splatters. That's just the effect for me um, using the color shine. Now, um, I was expressing in another video that sometimes when you use your splatter box and you're not far away enough, the, the nozzle will get clogged and then burst of colors will come out. And so that's how you get those little splatter effects, right? So this is the back. What y'all think? I think it's cute. Even though it's pink, I really think. Now, this one I sprayed closer to the paper. And I sprayed heavier on the paper. And the nozzle did not clog as much on this sheet than it did on this one. This is, the, this is what I like about this. No two sheets will be exactly alike. So, on this one, I was struggling. The nozzle was getting stuck. And so I had blotches, but I still love the effect, all right? So this is the one with the Heidi Primrose. All right, here we go, moving on to our next one. Now, this one is like um, a pinkish, purplish. But let me tell y'all the name of it. It's This one is... Uh, this one is cherry. 
Yes. This is the Glimmer Mist Cherry. And you can see the pink. Can you see the pink at the bottom, the glimmer? So it's like the paint is like a cherry. And then the glimmer, when you shake it up and come and it comes together and mix together, it gives you, I guess, a little pink. But when you're looking in the bottle, I thought this was more on like a red. Until I'm like, okay, this is like a cherry. All right, a pinkish cherry. All right, so this is what we get. To me, it's still, it's pink, but it does have a, a little illusion of a light, light um, burgundy, like going into the burgundy family. And it has um, gold, a gold um, effect on it. Oh, no, I did that one wrong, y'all. This is the party pink. I'm like, where's the gold? See that gold? So this party pink... The ink is pink, but they have a gold shimmer in here. That's This one is the party pink. I'm sorry, you all. So this is the party pink, and you can see the gold. Can you see the gold? Shimmers on it. I like this one, too. And you know I like this one better than the rest of them because it's starting to go over into the purple family. I love that. So I made two of these. And again, you can see how... Both of them spray differently on each side. No one side is, no two sides are the same, right? You can see a lot of the gold splatter. So when I went in to um, spray this, it was starting to clog. And when it unclogs, it splats out like that, all right? So again, you all, this is the Party Pink, Okay. That's the second set of papers. Here we go. This one is now, because I'm like, look at that shimmer. That's pink, not gold. Okay, so this one is the cherry that I used. Really, really light. Not too light, but yeah, it's a light pink. It's on the light pink family. And it has the splatters that you can see from it beginning to clog, right? Now, when I used to um, use these, I didn't like the clogging. I, that frustrated me, but I have since evolved, and I understand that's all a part of making art, the imperfections, right? So this one is cute. And it has a lot of, a lot of shimmer. All right, here we go. This is the second sheet. Love it. Can y'all see it? Look at all those splatters. Oh, too gorgeous. Too gorgeous. Yes. All right. So this, again, is the Cherry Glimmer Mist. Yes. I'm glad that I went and looked up and looked into my Glimmer Mist. All right. So this one, you all, if you remember from last week, I did a whole collection using this uh, Recollections. What's the, what color is this? Pink Shimmer. And I mixed it with Heidi's uh, Blush. Blush Rose. Okay? And so I did three sheets of this. And I really like the way that it turned out. Yes. Now on this, the texture, I wish you all could see it in person because the way that it dries, even though it has shimmer in it, it does not dry exactly like this. This is a smooth, silky, like, no, a smooth, glittery-like um, texture feel. This is more like, can I say milky? Like, you can see where the paper absorbed the water and it started bubbling the paper up. The paper started swelling. And then it dried up and it gives it a different texture. I don't know why it reacted to the paper like this, but I love it. But I love it. Yes. Okay, so that's one. And I did three of these sheets. And I'm telling you, I really like the texture that this this um, came out to be. I really wish you all could feel it. So you can see the hints of the gold and the um, pink. This is a very, very subtle pink. 
this is a very relaxed light night now i consider this light pink but this is like a dust pink that's the perfect word a dust pink i like it and then this is the third sheet this is the third sheet I love you see how this side is different you can see more of the glow gold um, splatters because the nozzle began to um, clog up really really bad and then it released itself and this is what I got so you all yes for this resurrection Wednesday I want to come in and show you all my paper that I made now I'm going to go back and do some projects with these um, and I'm thinking I might keep one of these sets whole and gift it to one of my subscribers. I'm not sure right now, but it's just good to sit up and play with, with your product. Even if you don't know the purpose of, you know, what you're going to use it for, the purpose of why you're doing it, just do it and have it on hand. And if you have it on hand, then you can always be able to reach and grab it to do a certain project. So this is some paper. Have anybody else tried um, making paper? This is my way of making paper, right? I just took a plain sheet of white cardstock. You all, this is smooth. No bumps, no textures. And I got all different types of textures from just spraying different uh, brands of paint on them and i absolutely love it tell me what you think leave me a comment down below can you stop right now stop and please tina is asking you if you love me and you rock with me can you just give me thumbs up can you just give me, if you don't even leave a comment can you thumbs up this video all right till next time family wash them hands stay blessed and keep creating i'll see y'all on the next video love you now